everyone. Good morning. So parang medyo kinabahan ako dun sa result ng poll. <laughs> so um I'll try to give you uh, uh, ang goal ko lang dito no I may not be able to fully discuss um the UAC and the devolution transition plan. Ang goal ko lang dito is pagkatapos ng discussion, short discussion is you would be more enlightened than confused no. So that may be may, maybe a tall order but I'll try really to um have this pres- presented no so let me start no so ito yung objective natin no so i want to discuss with you all yung ano wala yung ano ko i want to discuss with you all the role of the regional office in terms of where we are in terms of program implementation and with our new environment which is the implementation of the universal healthcare law no so CHD palagi yung pinag-uusapan so regional office immediately CHD po yung pinag-uusapan natin dito So specifically, we want to also highlight um, uh, to enumerate the key roles. No, ajo medyo konti lang to. And I gather this from our IPCR, OPCR. No, so yung mga key functions ng talaga ng mga program managers. And then also, as mentioned, clarify the devolution transition plan and also to highlight the role of other partners. So particularly our local government unit. So a backgrounder lang no, what UHC is. So medyo, this is self-explanatory. So universal healthcare ensures everyone will be receiving optimal health services. No? So keywords there is everyone and then optimal health services. No? So meron siyang matching mechanism. So um, this will highlight the role of our primary care providers uh, rather than the current setup, which is um, there is no gatekeeper in terms of um, further or specialized services. So also um, ensures that no patient will be left alone kasi may matching siya so automatic alam ng supposedly no ideally the local government unit which is the gatekeepers the primary care providers uh, they will know other clients and immediately alam nila palagi yung mga needs nila and with your um omnibus health guidelines uh, based on life stages lahat ng edad at lahat ng tao na sa local government unit or nasa coverage ng um, implementer um, will be matched with a specific care provider So how will this be done? No? This will be through health network. So before kasi, um, I think all of the patients are left on their own regardless, uh, regarding na lang kung sino yung referral, uh, ano yung existing referral mechanism, if there is or there isn't. No? But now with universal healthcare, kailangan talaga magkaroon ng health, a network of care providers. So this is at the level of the city if you are a, a highly urbanized city or at the level of the province uh, for the in- independent component cities and component municipalities. No? So, um, ito yung in-highlight natin na the health networks will be the one, will be the implementing mechanism in terms of providing care for all clients that we have identified um, in, the, in the grassroots level. Also, um, since sinasabi natin palagi na with universal healthcare, magkakaroon na tayo ng gatekeeping mechanism, this will also um, assume, no? this will also require that uh, primary care and community health will be strengthened. No? So how will this be strengthened? No? So this will be through support to trainings, to financial investment um, at the level of the local government unit, uh, at the level of the province, and at the level of the Department of Health at the regional and national level. So ito yung sinabi ko, funding. No? But for the universal healthcare kasi, um, financial integration is the last part in terms of, uh, of universal healthcare uh, implementation. So medyo, this is still up in the air for discussion. So I can't really fully divulge, uh, discuss on how the implementation mechanism will be for financing since this is under uh, field health for them to discuss and uh, finalize. No? But as of the latest discussion I have with our point person, at the CHT level, parang uh, PhilHealth is still discussing on how to um, fully materialize the uh, mechanism for reimbursement for PhilHealth um, programs and for those that may be part of the consulta package um, that will be having a PhilHealth reimbursement mechanism. And of course, um, if, if this already will be at the local government unit level, Uh, malaki na talaga yung role na gagampanan ng mga local chief executives. No? So, um, lahat ng nuances of that particular control, masasama din siya. So, ang goal talaga natin dito from the WH point of view and other partners, particularly the DALG, the SWD, and our financing partners such as PhilHealth, 
is to really ensure that um, all the nuances that comes with politics, such as uh, influence peddling, no? um, this will be minimized if not eliminated in terms of the financing mechanism. No? Kaya medyo mahaba ang uh, usapin dito in terms of financial integration because nga, um, it will be the provincial level that will be determining all of this. And the uh, usual mechanism right now where in the local chief executives such as the municipal and city mayors uh, medyo mag-under mag, ma, talaga sa, sa provincial health office which is under the provincial governor. So ito na yung devolution transition plan. No? So devolution transition plan meaning uh, this is just be for the transition mechanism or transition period from the time, from the current status, from the status quo to the implementation of UHC. So dito kasi may kita natin na majority of the discussion is on the current role of the Department of Health. No? So we have the financing, service delivery, regulation, and governance. So all of these um, are existing. No? So this is the mandates of the programs, the regulation services, and the standards um, division of the Department of Health. So primarily, if you are talking about program, we are at the second um, part, which is service delivery. So ensuring accessibility of essential quality health services at appropriate levels of care. So the DOH strategy map um, ensures that uh, capacity building, technical assistance will still be the focus of the Department of Health in terms of support the local government unit. So we still will be performing its functions based on our mandates, such as policy standards um, development, regulations, performance management, and other governance functions. However, your management of human resources, infrastructure, equip equipment, and information technology uh, support lang dito sa DOH, meaning support is it will primarily be done by the local government unit. Procurement and supply chain, as mentioned also by Sir Olin, will still continue to be a part that is shared by both the Department of Health and the local government unit. Kasi mayroong mga existing mechanism in terms of who will buy who and um, what uh, financing will be um, implemented for this particular commodities or logistics. So this is just the... Um, uh, a summary lang, no, of the expenditure of assignment on health no, from the different levels of governance. No? So at the province, health services which include hospitals such as your provincial and district hospitals and other tertiary health services will be under the provincial health system. For the municipality, primarily controlled niya yung mga ano niya, our issues, no, particularly your maternal and child care, communicable and uncommunicable uh, diseases that are either devolved or uh, partially devolved, no? And for the city, all services and facilities of the municipality and province and addition there to adequate communication and transportation facilities. And at the barangay level, health services which include the maintenance of barangay health facilities. So nakita natin dito all of the level of governance, meron na siyang particular role and responsibilities. Uh, again, this is to ensure that lahat ng tao sa, kan sa particular coverage ng level of governance, uh, matutugunan yung mga needs nila in terms of uh, health. So this is the, the OH support to LGUs in the devolution transition plan. Majority ng focus talaga natin dito is the capacity building and technical assistance. However, no, um, based on the IPCR and the OPCR of the regional offices or the CHD, ito yung ma, ma, so summarize natin that are the four major functions and roles of the CHD programs. No? Number one, your technical assistance and capacity development. So that would mean your training, workshops, meetings, and all um, fun, work, uh, all activities that has the uh, that has the goal of uh, trans uh, um, transferring knowledge no, or skills. Then monitoring and evaluation because we need to um, also look at the implementation mechanism in terms of this um, if the implementation are up to par or within standards. Logistical support. So logistical support would include your procurement and the ones that are being cascaded to us from other partners. No? So we have uh, multiple mechanisms in terms of how logistics are being bought by the, local, by the Department of Health. Number one, uh, binili talaga from our GAA. No? So these are procured centrally. Number two, they can have uh, downloading, of, downloading of funds at the regional level where the regional level or the CHDs will be the one to procure in behalf of the national government. But with the universal healthcare, this particular me mechanism will be uh, somewhat lessened. Uh, magiging central procurement na po tayo for the fully devolved. For the partially devolved, it will be at the level of the local government unit and then procurement will still be coming from central office. And then lastly is policy adoption or cascading. Um, the regional offices do not have the power or the mandate to create policies on its own. So ang magagawa lang po namin is we rely on the policies being cascaded at central office and then 
uh, based on local setup or local context, will be the one to adopt it. No? So these are more on the implementation arrangements rather than policies that are different at the national level. So yung lahat na sinabi ni Ola na kailangan i-update, we will be looking forward to it. Although um, some regions may already have arrangements that are more updated, um, we, we want to really ensure that all standards are being followed uniformly Uh, if ever there might be um, an overabundance in caution or there might be um, medyo may demand sa baba to really be more specific, uh, the regional offices can do that as long as it already is mentioned at the national policy level. No? So wala tayo ta- talagang power ang mga regional offices to create a policy na hindi pa na-touch or na-discuss ng national office. So at the end of the implementation of the transition by 2024, no? so nagsimula kasi itong devolution transition plan noong 2022, um, which is unfortunately uh, we were under the pandemic. No? So ito yung sinabi ko na we'll have a fully devolved program, partially devolved, and those that are retained with the Department of Health. So the fully devolved, this is the redevolution of the entire function or responsibility to the local government unit. No, redevolution meaning um, binaba na talaga natin to sa local government unit. Under the local government code, no, um, meron kasi mga functions, supposedly health functions already devolved at the local government unit. Although ang problem ng talaga natin is that the functions were devolved but the funding still remained at the central level. So the universal health care law in terms of financing is trying to address this particular problem wherein function and funding will now be Um, present at the local government unit. Although, meron tayong partially devolved, no? for instance, commodities um, uh, that may be for GDA, no? geographically isolated and disadvantaged areas, will still be procured by the national level because um, areas um, under the GDA, um, medyo walas lang capacity to procure on their own. No? So, ito yung uh, initinan din ni DOH na hindi naman disadvantage yung mga problematic or yung mga walang mechanism talaga or walang kakayahan ng mga local government unit. And then also, partially devolved um, commodities may also be done if walang availability of supplier at the local level. No? And then of course, you retain with the Department of Health um, all of the mechanisms for procurement and a pro- a procurement financing will still be retained at the central office. No, so pag retain with the UH, uh, discussion point dito is the national office rather than the regional lo- level. So this is quite a busy slide, but I just want to focus the right part of your screen. No? So what are retained and what are redevolved? No? So ito yung mga ano natin, ginagamit na qualification in the Department of Health on what would remain to be at the Department of Health level. So number one, if it is internationally procured or with limited local market, no? so such as your ARV. So, so far, since wala tayong availability at the local level, uh, it will still remain at the, the Department of Health. So um, however, if the If the if the supply picture might change and magbabagos the funding and the procurement mechanism might also change um, if that changed uh, soon. Commodities with economies of scale, so meaning if it is cheaper to procure them at bulk, then it would be still be at the level of the um, central office. Then population-based services that need to be consistently implemented. No? So ito yung mga ano natin, um, population-based services such as your, ito yung mga tinatans as deworming. No? So meaning uh, wala tayo pinipili, lahat ng population um, are qualified, um, they can be procured still at the national level. Individual-based services but without field health package in the interim. So such as your viral hepatitis, yung sinerase nga ni Dr. Kate, no? currently wala pa kasi tayong funding mechanism under field health, although meron tayong mga case rate for certain conditions that may be associated with uh, complications uh, for viral hepatitis. Uh, but uh, compared to HIV, no, na meron tayong mga case rate at the outpatient level and um, uh, on the complications that may they may present at the inpatient level, Um, wala pa tayong ganyan for viral hepatitis. So it would still remain to be at the program level. Although um, we have already have seen one problem with this one kasi nga as mentioned by Olan, the transfer to cancer program, which is an uncommunicable disease um, program, uh, kulang pa rin yung funding nila in terms of testing, in terms of uh, monitoring for um, infectious disease uh, program. So we hope that the goal to pr- transfer it back to the STI program um, will be granted by the Department of Health. For those who are really involved, no services and commodities that are readily available in the market, those who are ready with field health packages, and the population services which the, the LGUs have the capacity to implement. 
So it is expected that the new age central office will stop the procurement of redevelop individual commodities. So at the yumahi na let natin kanina. Uh, by 2023, LGUs will procure commodities of both individual and population-based health services for fully devolved functions. Um, the DOH, including the CHD, will still procure some devolved functions, especially those with a high cost or those with economies of scale. And then we also will continue to monitor and provide technical assistance to the local government unit. No? So ito yung hinighlight ko na apat na functions natin. Number one is your technical assistance capacity development. Number two is your monitoring evaluation and then your logistical support, and then lastly is your um, technical support, logistical evaluation, and um, kalimutan ko yung apat, pang-apat. Uh, so anyway, bumalik ako ulit, teka for a while. and policy adoption. Pala. So uh, by 2024, LGUs are expected to procure individual and population-based health services for fully developed functions. No? So ito yung highlight natin sa devolution transition plan is the timelines. No? So by 2024, certain programs will no longer be uh, procured or implemented by the Department of Health at the regional level, but will be conducted by the um, local government unit at the province and citywide health system. So these are just uh, to highlight to you the timelines in terms of activities per program. Uh, medyo busy siya. I won't have the capacity luxury to discuss all of them. Anyway, the slides will be provided to you. You can browse this um, later. No? So highlight na natin dito that we already have cert identified certain programs already with existing health uh, field health packages and those without field health packages. So, if there is a package already with field health, then that already will be conduct will be procured by the local government unit. For example, if your cardiovascular and diabetes mellitus, such as your maintenance medications, so certain amlo, simvastatin, metformin, leclazide, um, all of this will already be procured by the local government unit starting this year. Now, of those that will be retained, a sample, no, ito yung sinabi natin na uh, fully retained by the Department of Health because ma ma medyo pricey pa yung commodities natin. This will be cancer program, mental health programs, the NTP, um, ERIDs, such as your osultamivir for your uh, flu, um, your mga chemicals for disinfection, um, for the uh, dengue program, yung mga binibili natin ng mga liver side. Um, <laughs> For the, um, these are the existing programs. Highlight lang natin yung, yung NASPCP, um, all antivirals, antifungal, syphilis, RDT, hepatitis B, viral load, and point of care tests and HIV RDT test kits will be retained. Although yung sinabi nga ni Oled na medyo nagbago na naman yung picture at the national level, um, so we'll still await the final release of guidance in terms of where the viral hepatitis will be, uh, if mapa mara remain ba siya sa, sa cancer program, will be reverted back to the NASPCP and the STI program. So, ito yung summary lang dito, no? So, retained with the program is your environmental health, national immunization program, TB program, mental health program, cancer program, HIV program, CISTO, vector, and medical assistance, or YAMAI. Partially devolved, um, STIs, no? partially devolved siya kasi may certain STIs pa tayo and mga certain medications are still procured at the national level uh, because medyo pricey pa yung pagbili niya or hindi available at the local market. And then for fully devolved, lahat ng mga uh, um, activity, uh, lahat ng mga programs that medyo hindi naman ganun kamahal yung mga pagbili ng mga gamot or meron na siyang field health package. So ito yung integration of the local health systems into province and citywide um, health system. No? So um, kasi before, uh, medyo sanay yung mga local government unit natin na lahat ng assistance is inaakit immediately at the, at the regional level. But this time, um, dadaan na talaga sila at the level of the province. No? So ang may first touch talaga or may mandate to assist or to address concerns from the different component cities and municipalities will now be at the provincial level and then your CHD will already be functioning as a support mechanism for the provincial implementation and the citywide health systems. No? So 
Ito yung picture natin, no? So, fragmented siya before, man, meaning kanya-kanyang local government unit, kanya-kanyang mechanism or implementation mechanism. But this time, with an integrated health system under the province or the city-wide health system, um, we are trying to see na with limited resources, uh, a more organized system will ensure that medyo hindi na tayo magkakaroon ng leakage in terms of financing. So, example lang dito is this one, no? So, meaning all our issues will have to have an apex uh, secondary care facilities and then they also have an apex hospital no? um, so this is the network that i'm talking about so hindi na siya pwedeng uh, immediately from RHU refer agad to the apex hospital it still has to come through a gatekeeping mechanism so that hindi naman mo overwhelm yung mga tertiary hospitals natin such as what we are currently seeing right now for example we have an apex hospital at region 7 na medyo overwhelmed siya with nat- uh, NVS and uh, NV uh, national uh, natural but uh, vaginally uh, delivered no yung mga normal mechanism at ng delivery which is supposedly handled by your um, secondary um le- uh, uh, start, uh, primary level mechanisms no So ito yung mga um, these are just an ex- examples no of how organized uh, the organization will be at the level of the province no so Uh, medyo with the increasing strength of their provincial health offices, the CHGs will now be um, decreasing in terms of its role uh, for program implementation. So sa apat na sinabi ko, ang, mag- ang magiging malakas na lang talaga dito is your technical assistance and capacity development and monitoring and evaluation. Yung policy adoption will now be dependent in terms of Um, the need for different local government units and yung local procurement, uh, yung procurement and supply logistics, uh, supplies and logistics supports natin will now be dependent on the program if they are partially devolved or fully devolved or still retained with the Department of Health. So ito yung mga kailangan gawin natin for financial integration. Ito yung pinaka magulong part ng UHC. Um, although, as I mentioned, this is the last or the later part of the implementation of UHC. No? So they need to create special health fund. They need to have a board resolution for the special health fund. And then it, in that particular resolution, uh, mag guarantee natin na the funds are exclusively used for health and health-related needs. So currently, natapos na yung phase one preparatory phase natin during the Uh, during the time of the pandemic, now we are trying to finish the organization of the province and city wide health systems. And based on the timeline of the UHC, dapat by 2023, we already have started our implementation. No? So um, we are still awaiting in terms of the monitoring of the concerned departments or section for um, implementation, whether the maturity level has already been incre- uh, has already been. Um, increasing or has already been satisfied and we're looking at the LGU sco- health scorecard to determine if the local government units such as the province and city-wide health systems are already at par in terms of implementing the different programs that have been re- uh, re- uh, devolved to the local government unit. So basically, um, ito yung mechanism na gagawin for the implementation at the healthcare provider network. So this will be at the level of the city and the province, no? So ito yung mga referring mechanism natin no? that already includes your school clinics, your private diagnostics um, laboratories, your birthing homes, including our offices. Meron siyang um, referral mechanism with our uh, local uh, health system. And then before they are referred outside to our level 1, level 2, and level 3 health facilities. No? So yung primary care provider network would serve as your gatekeeping mechanism no na walang pupunta sa mga IP, uh, level 1, level 2, level 3 na hindi mo na natingnan ng primary care level. So how will this be um, in terms of the HIV program? Um, as I've said, yung HIV program kasi natin currently is still partially developed in terms of logistics. So the role of your um, treatment hub, your primary care facilities will still be as is no until further notice. Although there already are discussions na yung HIV testing will now be part of the consulta package, meaning all our issues will be offering um, HIV, testing, uh, HIV testing services kasi nga nasama na yung HIV testing natin as um, one of the major uh, regular laboratories that are offered to our pregnant women. So um, we are still trying to await um, how this will look in terms of financing. And how this will look in terms of the referral mechanism if ever there are positive individuals for ano yung um, 
set up for uh, referring any positive or reactive individuals to our existing um, treatment facilities. So ito yung role of LGUs, no? so they will primarily be administrative, uh, pr service provision, and registration of all constituents. No? So regardless of your level of um, uh, financial um, level, no? um, all of the um, individuals in a, in a particular setting have to be enrolled so that um, may ensure natin na, may ensure natin na um, all of them have already been uh, already have been matched to a particular health um, provider and all of them will be able to be um, accessing services before they become um, complicated management. No? So in summary lang, gusto ko lang matingnan, uh, makita natin dito that we have four functions at the CHD uh, that eventually will be having different levels of implementation. No? So number one, your technical assistance capacity development um, will still be retained at the regional level. Number two, yung um, policy adoption and cascading will still be conducted or still be the role of the CHD. Uh, yung procurement and logistic support will now be uh, more of the role of the provincial and citywide health system. And yung last natin is yung um, monitoring and evaluation which will be part of our standards um, um, standards mechanism no, ensuring quality services are uniform across all um, uh, service delivery points. Um, will still be under the Department of Health. No? So, highlight ko lang dun po sa talk natin is that it will now be the province and the citywide health systems that will have a bigger role in terms of implementation but for certain programs. But for the HIV program, um, it will still be the Department of Health regional level in partnership with the central office that will still have a big role um, in terms of policies and procurement. Kasi yung ARB natin will still be under the central office. But for the STI, um, medyo meron na tayo mga, mga gamot na dinownload or din evolve to the local government unit um, in terms such as your um, um, gonorrhea, your chlamydia, uh, kasi meron na mga, mga um, existing uh, infectious diseases that already are being managed at the local government unit na same medica medication ang pinoprocure ng local government unit.